Shalom Aleichem, everyone. Hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week. This week's Dvar Torah is sponsored by the Schmelz family in memory of Rabbi Yamin Zev Schmelz Zichron Levracha, whose yard said is Chavtes Er. Benji Schmelz was one of my closest friends, walked down my aisle, uh, just suddenly passed away. A dear, dear friend, a Ben Torah, a role model to so many, an Ish Chinuch, uh, tremendous, tremendous loss. And uh, we daven always that uh, his neshama shav aliyah and his family shav nechama. It's been many, many years, but uh, a true, true friend of mine and someone who uh, I'll never, never forget. So uh, it's Chag HaShuos is coming up this week, and uh, a thought about Shuos. Uh, so there's a very well-known machlokas in the Gemara at Masechus Beitza. It tells us that uh, when it comes to Yom Tiv, so machlokas, how we celebrate Yom Tiv. After all, the Torah tells us that Seres La Hashem Elokechem, Atzeres is La Hashem. On the other hand, it also says Atzeres Lachem, it should be Lachem. So how do you deal with Lachem, Astira? Is it us? Is it Hashem? So the Gemara is two days. Rav Yeshua Ben Levi tells us, Chelkeu, Chatzil Hashem, Chatzil Lachem. You divide the day between Beis Medrash, Tefillah, and Suda. And Rav Elazar says, no, no, you can't divide the day. It's all or nothing. Oh, Kulo La Hashem, and spend the entire day in Beis Medrash, not have elongated Sudos. Oh, Kulo Lachem, and spend the day with Tishes, with Sudas, with uh, engaging in Simchas Yontif, and less so when it comes to base matters. Machlokas, we paskan la halacha like Rav Yoshua ben Levi. But it's interesting. Kumar tells us that when it comes to certain Chagim, Shabbos for sure, but even Shvuas, even Rabbi Eliezer says, you have to have a Suda. You have to have a Suda. And the Ramban writes in Parsh Mishpatim, that any time there's a significant accomplishment in Limit HaTorah, it has to be associated, it has to come with it a, a Sudas Hoda, a thank you to Hashem, we do so via, via a festive meal. So even, ironically, on Chag HaShvuz, which you'd say certainly should be a day of Kulo Lashem. The day should nitna bat Torah. We should go ahead and celebrate that day through Beis Medrash entirely. No, Rabbi Lazar says it has to be chatzil lachem, chatzil Hashem, to understand that the Torah is the Torah's chayim, and that we go ahead and we invest ourselves heavily in our limud Torah, but we also have to celebrate our limud Torah. We have to appreciate our limud Torah. We have to thank Hashem for limud Torah. We do th- do so through a suda, and perhaps again Torah's chayim. It's a Suda, it's a, it's a Torah of life, and therefore, in the context of Suda, we go ahead and enhance the physicality through this idea, through these mitzvahs. And that's perhaps the message of the din of, of, of Chag HaShvuz, of Chatzi, Lashem, Chatz Lachem, even Rabbi Eliezer, who maintains normally we go, O Kul Hashem, O Kul Hashem, you can go Kulo Lashem, but not so in Chag HaShvuz. Chag HaShvuz we go ahead and combine to highlight that the Torah is for us a Torah of life, a Torah of living, and integrating it fully into all aspects of our existence. Have a wonderful Shabbos and a beautiful Yontif.